Sorry about that, I had clicked on camera and was yapping away to the camera, so <laughs> I do apologise for that. We'll start that again, fortunately it was just a little intro blurb. Um, so welcome, just a quick reading while husband takes the dogs for a walk down to the beach. Um, <gasps> yes, three of us working from home, all good fun and games, still even though we are technically out of lockdown, we've all got into the habit of of working remotely so we'll just see how long that lasts um, and I do apologize I haven't been on earlier this week um, have been doing some follow-up work on um, a reading I did where a spirit has been trying to get in touch with a particular person uh, has twice attempted to get in touch with this person uh, it's a in a very old house uh, nearly 200 years old quite a grand house and we're just trying to a uh, few of us who are that way inclined, uh, along with some genealogists, are um, trying to work out who this spirit is. It's all very fascinating. Um, it is made difficult because it is a very young, potent, probably teenage domestic, um, and 100, 150 years ago, there wasn't much information about who worked when necessarily um, the censuses are, seem to have some big gaps in them. Um, so we're, we're hopeful that we'll find out who this young lady is. So persevering with that. I want to cover a few topics today. I did have a quick look and I was uh, wondering where to actually go today. There's been a lot happening, nothing, a lot happening, but nothing sort of really outstanding that grasped my attention. But what I'll, I'll just... Um, start on. There's a few things we haven't looked at for a while and um, uh, one of them's Afghanistan, another is uh, Alexei Navalny. So in Afghanistan what ha has happened is an uh, uh, Afghani who had worked as a interpreter for the Australian troops has uh, been murdered by the Taliban um, which was not unexpected but it, uh, you know, what can you say? It was expected. The Australian government failed in so many ways to get these people and their families out. Um, the Taliban made all sorts of promises, which Western countries, because it was convenient, uh, I won't say fell for, because they knew that a lot of the promises were actually BS and Sorry about that. Entertainment purposes only. Um, so just uh, as, as an Australian, as a Westerner, I just have this incredibly heavy heart. So I want to have a quick look at uh, what's going on in Afghanistan or the future, the future of Afghanistan, the near future. Uh, Alexei Navalny, who is the opposition, the Russian opposition leader, still in prison. Um, have read in the past that um, Putin's not game to let him die or keep him alive by any means possible, but he's just received the UN, a UN uh, a very top human rights award as well. So I'm sure that stings a bit for the rush for the Russian um, government. Uh, Russia's also declared that it's not going to attend the COP26, so I'll, I'll try and do a quick, get time to do a quick reading on the COP26. Uh, the Australian Prime Minister has advised um, that he is going, um, and he took a, a muttering by the Queen and some um, disappointing words, disappointed words from Prince Charles, plus outrage from the Australian public to convince um, him to go. But it has been leaked to the media that Australia is behind the scenes involved, along with a couple of other countries that really aren't taking climate change seriously, are uh, involved in trying to lobby, bribe, whatever you like to call it, the um, uh, writers, the presenters of the climate report that's going to the COP26 to try and make it appear not so bad. Um, so I'm, like a lot of Australians when we found out about that, extremely disappointed that our government would stoop to, not surprised, but extremely disappointed that our government would stoop to such levels. So let's get started very quickly. 
oh, Afghanistan, it's going to be heavy. I might leave that one for last, just in case it becomes a reading on its own. And if it becomes a reading on its own, I'll tackle that one tomorrow. So I just want to, first up, how is Alexi Navalny going? Oh, incredible strength, his wife. Uh, and and rock, for want of a better word, is still on the outside working behind the scenes. I'm just going to do a very quick five card draw. Yes, Meister, thank you. He's just put a protective layer around me. I had forgotten to ask him in. So he does take care of me. Alexi Navali, can you just, how is Alexi Navali going? Five card draw please, Meister, five cards, five cards like I have been recently exploring, five cards please Meister. He's making sure I'm doing a really good shuffle today, oops, Alexi Navali. See what they say. Well, the deck's upside down. I don't read upside down. I hope that's light enough for you. Um, first card, Justice. Okay, that's the Signifier card. Very powerful card for a Signifier card. Uh, justice also uh, is um, integrity. So he's keep he's staying strong with what his purpose is. Base is the Three of Pentacles, so there is work going on behind the scenes. Past is the Six of Cups. Uh, this is um, beautiful times. So it's a going back to the past card, but it also, you know, you've got a couple of children playing in a in a meadow with butterflies and rabbits, and all the cups are gleaming and upright and a gorgeous sunshine. It's in the past. Ah, crowning, crowning is, is the Queen of Swords. Now the Queen, the Queen is, Queens are not necessarily females. This may be her, what, his wife, but Queens are more a feminine energy. So a, more of a matriarchal, Mother Earth, compassionate energy. Um, queens are compassion, they're also independence, security, and the Queen of Swords is, um, she is an inspiration. So I'm thinking that the energy he's actually bringing forward is still an inspirational energy. Five of Wands, um, fighting, they're going to do whatever it takes now. Pull my, one more, uh, I'll, I'll ask, actually, I'll pull out my clarifier cards. I'm, this is the future. Actually, I'll, I'll draw one more. The High Priestess, so that's secrets. She's also intuitive. The Hermit, introspection, investigation. I need to stop going on this. This is the Emperor, okay. So I'm pretty sure that this future is indicating Putin, who, so with its lapis lazuli, I'm going to use my rider weight just to clarify this. They're going to keep him isolated. There are secrets that are just going to not be let out. And the current administration is not going to be let out. They're just going to, oh, throwing out at me. Justice again. So he, he's, he's holding his, holding his line. Anxiety. So he is finding it anxious, but he's keeping his integrity. Um, but I don't see any change from the status quo uh, going into the into the near future. 
um, no, I mean that's Putin, patriarchal, unwavering, powerful, I'm still reading on Putin at some stage. A few people have seen him going, I don't see it in the near future, in the like near near future, but sometime within the next decade probably in the next five years is what I've, I'm being told, is that he will go, but at this stage it's just business as usual for Alexei Navalny, keeping him quiet, keeping him controlled. Russia's actually going through a terrible time with COVID at the moment because its population is highly unvaccinated, even though Russia has its own uh, vaccine. Um, but I must admit, if I was under... A regime like the Russians, I um, probably wouldn't trust the, the government pushed vaccine either, entertainment purposes only. Okay, I'm just going to nip over to Glasgow. So, first question I want to ask on this is, oh my goodness, are there politicians, and I know who I'm thinking about um, in particular, in the Australian government, in the Liberal National Party, who are being paid off by the fossils? Now, um, our, there's several members of our ruling Liberal National Party have come out in the last couple of days and have actually declared that fossil fuels are a renewable fuel because they come from a natural source. <sighs> oh dear. All I can say is thank goodness also in the last couple of days some very big industries like our aluminium, Tomago aluminium industry, um, our, our energy producing industries, um, some very big in our steel makers, they've all come out and said they are heading for green and they plan to be green by 2030. And I read on this the other day that um, the, the change, the transition to renewables won't come from our federal government. <laughs> Roll my eyes. It will come from uh, the Australian industry, industry base and the populace of Australia going up rather than direction from the federal government down. But I'm just going to do a really quick read. Now the most vocal is uh, a politician called Barnaby Joyce. He supposedly um, represents the farming and rural sectors. I don't understand. I, under I do know that mining is fairly... Um, big in the rural areas, but that's also where the renewables are going to be based. And uh, as overseas examples have shown, there is more jobs in renewables than there is in mining. I mean, in Australia, McDonald's employs more people than all our mines combined. So, um, you know, there's not the jobs in mines that people think there are. He also is supposedly representing the farmers. And when you think about climate change, the ones that are going to be affected most are the farmers from droughts and flooding rains and dust storms and crop, crop destruction and pests caused by um, the climate changing. So I am amused that um, he's taken this stance, but I do suspect entertainment purposes only. I need to get a little sign to hold up on the stick. Entertainment purposes only. I I just want to ask, is Barnaby Joyce being paid off by the fossil fuel producers? I'm going to do four cards. Is Barnaby Joyce being paid off by the fossil fuel producers? Is Barnaby Joyce being paid off by the fossil fuel producers? Is Barnaby Joyce being paid off by the fossil fuel producers? Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I won't take you down, I'll just read them. The Fool. Now, the Fool has many meanings. It can mean new start, trust, courage, and sometimes, in all honesty, it just means the Fool. That's Barnaby. If you've ever seen him, if you haven't seen him, Google him. <laughs> Barnaby Joyce. Right, next in line is the Queen of Swords. Now she is um, 
a queen, uh, the queen's uh, compassion. This particular the queen of swords. She is a queen of integrity. She's also a queen of truth, and she is also a queen of encompassing. So um, when I say encompassing, I mean encompassing of all peoples, um, no matter um, where they come from, um, what social status they have. She is an encompassing queen of inspiration. <sighs> the magician, so he's um, manifestation, um, also manipulation and possibilities and six of swords. So what I'm actually seeing from this, okay, I'm going <laughs> to, I asked for another one on Barnaby and this is illusion and delusion. Yeah. So what I've got here is I've got Barnaby, the fool, under delusion. This is the actual future of Australian uh, renewable future. The, the truth is undeniable. She is an inspiration. So this is a, a feminine um, uh, energy. Uh, a compassionate, again, doesn't necessarily mean female. Um, who is going to manifest possibilities. And we are going to move on from the fossils, is what I get from that. Justice again on the bottom. Goodness, she's, she's popping up a lot today. Justice, three of wands, which is um, there'll be a lot of pressure come from overseas. Uh, the knight of, and the knight of wands. Uh, this is, sorry, this is on the bottom of the deck. This is the here and now. Uh, so justice is um, integrity and uh, rebalancing. Three of Wands, the pressure will come from overseas. I mean, look at that volcano in the background. It's almost like us burning our fossils at the moment to produce energy. Uh, here is a slow moving night with a plan. Um, but he's also, um, he, can be, he can be a risk taking night, um, but he, is, he, he brings forward a plan for the future. So actually looking at this, he's riding his horse away from those, away from that burning of the, the earth in the background. So Barnaby, you are on the wrong side of history, mister. Um, on that note, how will Glasgow go? Okay, the COP26, our uh, one of our Greens Senators has announced today that she will be going to the COP26 as a representative of Australia, not the representative, that's our climate denying fossil fuel loving Scott Morrison. Um, but yes, yeah, so she's, so, how, okay, first question, very quickly, three cards, how will Scott Morrison be received in Glasgow. How will Scott Morrison be received at the COP26? How will Scott Morrison be received at the COP26? Oh, one more. Sorry, it does tell me. Quickly, <laughs> not well at all. Sorry, Scotty. Uh, disappointment. So, oh gosh, so he's got the castle. So this is breaking down of old systems and structures with an ability to rebuild. So, yes, it is destruction, but it is the possibility to, to build something new. Uh, disappointment, but there is still one, one cup on offer. Uh, the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning. I think he's going to actually have a bit of an epiphany there, mainly because he's going to get flog get it flogged into him, but this is a, a new beginning, new relationships and healing, a new healing. One more. 
difficult decisions. Base of the pack, it's going to come at him very quickly. Full illumination. I think he's he's in for a bit of a downfall about it all. And this is the world. This is the strength of the world. So he's going to find himself. Oh, and there was there was Biden at there as well. I think he's going to find himself in a minority and he's going to get told what's what. And uh, he's, Scotty's one of these guys who wants everybody to be his mate and wants to be liked by everybody and I think he's going to come back with an attitude change. Okay, very quickly. Um, I'm, I was going to ask how Glasgow was going to go, but I might do that a little bit closer to the event. Still another two weeks off as to what outcomes will come from the COP26. So very quickly, as one last item, I'm going to go overseas and I am going to ask. So in the US, the Senate, Congress, the, yeah, the, the, the Congress, the Senate which is the equivalent to our Senate. Um, so we have a House and a Senate. If I've got it wrong, please let me. The House is the lower ones and the Senate is the higher ones that actually pass. So the lower ones put forward the proposals and then they vote it through the House and then the Congress is the one that actually brings the bill into reality and it's the infrastructure bill and the voting rights bill etc etc that's caught up in the upper house in the congress and um, because it's a 51 to 49 or something 51 to 50, 51 to 50 51 to 50 between the republicans and the democrats so there is only one uh, particular vote um, lead that the Democrats have over the Republicans if they want to behave in a childish manner. Um, but the problem is, is one of the Democrats is a guy called Minchin. Now he, in all honesty, he was voted in as a Democrat, but he is a Republican. He is supported by the fossil fuel industry. Uh, I have seen that he is not going to get voted back in again, but I don't think he comes up for an election for quite a while yet. So he's making noises at the moment that he's going to leave the Democratic Party and either become an independent or show his true colours and become a Republican. So I'm just going to ask, oops, sounds like husband's back already, so I'll just pause this for a minute. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Dogs back from the beach, wanting cuddles. Sent the husband out the outside with a beer. Come on, boot down. <laughs> so I knew that was going to happen. So, okay, we'll do this last little bit very quickly, and then it's time to knock off for the day. Uh, actually, I won't be able to help myself. I'll just keep looking into this, into this spirit, um, following the trail. So, will mansion 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 yeah see bobart's not game to leave but will mansion actually the question i'm wanting to ask the question i'm being told to ask is will the democrats call his bluff and tell him to leave will the democrats call mansion's bluff Tell him to leave. Will the Democrats call Mansion's bluff and he will leave? Will the Democrats call Mansion's bluff and he will leave? Right. I do a slightly bigger spread on this one. Let's have a look. Signify King of Wands. Right, so sitting there. Knight of Pentacles, the Pastor's Page of Pentacles, the Emperor, Near Future, Three of Cups. So, okay, so sorry. I'll, I'll set these out and then I'll go through them one by one. 
So what we've got, we've got the King of Wands. Kings are authority figures, um, powerful, plans and passions as wands. Uh, this is a visionary, this is not mansion. I think this one at the top of the reading is, is actually Mansion, the Emperor, uh, the Energy Over, the Signifier. I think this is, today, in this reading, this is Biden, who's the Signifier. And Mansion, this is Mansion, the Emperor, um, Patriarchal, Unwavering. It's the card I got for Putin, if that explains anything to you. Underneath the reading is the Knight of Pentacles, this uh, Knight of, sorry, yeah, Knight of Pentacles, slow moving, uh, uh, slow, diligent, steady, reliable. So he's under the King of Wands, so he's under Biden. In the past, we've got the Page of Pentacles, uh, pages, uh, it's a uh, this is a dream big, work hard in the past. Near future is three of cups, so that's circles of support working together. Immediate future is the six of wands, so victory. I don't think he's going to leave. I think what's happening is that they're going to pull, pull his, call his bluff. So... Um, accompanying the victory is the High Priestess, which is Secrets, to be exposed. Uh, hopes and Fears is the Nine of Wands, which I think is Mansion coming into line. And he's going to come into line because we've got the Justice card. There's murkiness beneath the surface that is potentially going to be exposed. And the Nine of Cups, which is... Uh, can be the smug merchant, but it also means wish fulfillment. So I, what I get as an overall feeling of that is um, behind the scenes, they're going to call his bluff. He's going to realise, if he, he does realise, he knows. At the moment, he is basically all-powerful. Um, but if he leaves, he realises... Two of Swords, difficult decision to make in regards to the truth. Three of Pentacles, hard work behind the scenes. Ten of Swords, complete and utter downfall. Which he, this is what he knows will happen if he goes because if he leaves the Democrats, okay, yes, then that means the Republicans become the controlling party by one vote. However, there are a lot of Republicans that are voting on the side of the Democrats for these particular bills, or support these particular bills. They may not have voted yet, but they do support them. He, I think he realises that if he leaves, um, A, he'll lose his position as an elected member, because then he'll have lost the, the utter trust of the voters in his area. Uh, he loses his power because he's no longer the deciding vote. Um, the GOP have enough that support these ideas of Biden's these, uh, and the Democratic Party to progress the American people. Um, so I think he realises that if he actually leaves, uh, he will lose everything. His power, his support, um, his integrity, and therefore he'll stay. So on that note, on that note, he, oh, <laughs> so he'll he'll fall into line. He's just um, blustering at the moment, <sighs> throwing his weight around, behaving like a bit of a spoiled brat who's, you know, been given the keys to the liquor cabinet or something. I don't quite know how to describe it. <laughs> Come up with your own analogy. So if you've got any comments, please put them in the, in the box below. And uh, I shall see you on Sunday for Oracle. Okay, have a fabulous Friday and talk to you later. Bye-bye.